In this screencast, we'll look at exporting and re-editing learning objects. We'll look at exporting from an online installation, and for example, the Technis Sandpit. We'll look at extracting and viewing that exported learning object from a USB stick. We'll look at importing and editing the same learning object in another Xerti Online Toolkits installation. And we'll look at editing and saving the same learning object offline using the Windows Developer Tool. This is Quick and Dirty Xerti. If you use the Technis Sandpit, you'll be aware, or should be aware, that um, learning objects created on the Sandpit are wiped on a monthly basis. The reason for this is that you're encouraged to establish an installation of Xerti Online Toolkits in your own institution. So it's not meant to be a national installation for everyone to use and continue using because you lose all the advantage of collaboration that can happen when you've got an institutional installation. So it's important that you know how to export learning objects from the sandpit and import them into your own installation or indeed to import them back after the, the weekend of wiping. So to demonstrate this we're going to log into the sandpit and export a learning object. Here we are on the Tectus sandpit and we're going to make a quick edit or addition to the learning objects we've been creating during these tutorials. Um, so for this example we're just going to insert a links page which is under navigators. Um, now we're not going to complete this page on the sandpit, we're going to export and import into another installation and carry on editing there. But for the purpose of the demo, we'll give the page a title and we'll add a couple of nested pages, which will be our um, links, um, and we'll also change the uh, link height to medium. If we click play, and use the table of contents to view that page. We have um, the beginnings of our links page. We can close the window. And the thing that we must remember to do is click publish before we export anything. Um, unless of course we don't want to include the most recent changes in the, in the exported version. Um, okay, so to export, we select the learning object, click properties and select the export tab and as usual we've got two options we'll ignore the SCORM export and just select the normal zip export we'll be prompted to save the zip file and then we can browse in this case we'll put it on a, a USB stick that we've got inserted in the machine already then we can close the editor window or the properties window and switch to our USB stick. This zip file could also be added as a resource inside a Moodle course by uploading and extracting the zip and then linking to the index.htm file. This is covered in more detail in the two separate Moodle specific screencasts. So now that we've got our exported zip what we're going to quickly do is just right click and use an extraction tool to export the zip to the same folder. And depending on the size of the learning object and the media it contains, it can take a little while. And now our folder is available. And just to demonstrate, we've exported a learning object from toolkits, we've extracted the zip. If we open the learning object and open the index.htm file, we have the learning object with our links page that we've started to develop and we could share this learning object via a USB stick or via a network drive. 
so that's a kind of safe copy of the learning object outside of the the sandpit or outside of whatever online installation we've exported it from what we can also do is import our um, exported learning object the zip file into a copy of maxos so here we're just going to start maxos and to import a learning object we need to select the workspace icon and then select properties you can see we have some other tabs but the tab that we want is the import tab and we can simply browse to our zip file and select open it won't identify the the name of the learning object as it was in the the sandpit so we need to give it a new name and in this case we'll use the same name that we had inside the sandpit so xot page types and then click upload now again depending on the size of the learning object it could take a little while and depending on your copy of maxos you may not see a progress bar but you will see a confirmation window when the learning object has been imported so here we see you see message from web page the new template has been imported click OK and close the properties window so here we see our XOT page types if we click edit expand the tree we see our links page so let's do an edit to this now so this is a links page this is an example of a links page um, and let's select take this 30 page so we'll add a link of techdisk.ac.uk forward slash get 30. Um, okay, so we'll press play and see that, that edit has um, been included. And here we see this is an example of a links page and the information that we just added. So we'll close this window make sure that we publish and close window now what we're going to do is select properties again this time from the maxos copy and select export and zip export again okay we're prompted to save the zip file once again and we're going to just replace the, the zip file that we'd um, exported from the sandpit previously so it'll ask us do we want to replace the file we'll select yes and the file has been downloaded so we'll close the window and switch back to the directory so here we've got our updated zip. So now what we're going to do is delete the previously extracted um, version. And extract the new zip that um, we've exported from Maxos. Okay, if we open that file just to verify that this is the very latest version we'll double click the index page browse to our links page and we should see that we've now got the the more recent version with the technist link added so one other way that we can edit this file if you've got the um, the Xerti Windows application installed on your machine you can simply double click the learning object RLT file and here we see the wizard with um, pretty much the same type of interface 
and we can click on our links page we see the tech this 30 link that we added let's just add one to Google so Google link to Google uh, google.co.uk in the local windows tool the button that's the equivalent of publish or at least the equivalent of save in the most recent updates is a save button and down in the bottom right hand corner we see that we still have our play and preview button so if we click play we should see we navigate to our links page the latest changes we've made with the link to google appearing close the preview window click save and in this instance we can click publish and then we'll be prompted that publishing is complete and all the files for web development have been created click ok close the windows application um, actually a point here is if we close that editor window we'll we'll see the uh, developer application and a simple tip is to double click on the top icon and you'd be back to the wizard so if ever you find yourself in that place and you want to carry on editing just double click on the top icon we'll close the windows application altogether and we were prompted do you want to exit yes we do do you want to save yes we do okay so what we could now do is select all these files um, zip up the the contents of the folder and then as we did before import into an online installation of Xerti online toolkits so we have editing importing exporting between online installations as well as exporting viewing on a USB stick editing in the Windows application and then re-importing into an online installation. In this screencast we looked at exporting and re-editing learning objects. We exported a learning object from an online installation. In the example it was the Technist Sandpit. We extracted and viewed from a USB stick. We imported and edited in another Xerti Online Toolkits installation. In this case, it was Maxos. And we edited and saved offline using the Windows Developer Tool. Hope you found this useful. This has been Quick and Dirty Xerti.